Welcome back to Man Cave Arcade. We, uh... Got a lot more to talk about. Yeah. There's even things I want to talk about. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess I'm kind of mm -hmm. stopping you a bit. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I, I'm, that's kind of what I expected. Like, that's that's the feel I expected was, like, me intro like me guiding you on a tour through this world. Like, this is <sighs> what this is. Um, oh, God. But there's a couple things I want to say, like, yeah, you that do I some stuff. appreciate a lot. Go on. Um, is... Just about Sora's character, he's not afraid to cry. Mm -hmm. uh, like he just cried in front of, in front of, uh, Hainer, Pence, and Olette, and he cries again later. And he's he's just such a pure person. Yeah. Um, there's n no wrong inside him. Like, not even like selfishness. Like, not even like. It, it's crazy. Um, he's so nice, but that's the thing I appreciate is. Although he may be the player, the character we play as, he isn't the chosen one. Yeah. In yeah. the lore of the games. Yeah. Ooh. It's revealed that Riku is actually the chosen one. Riku is the Keyblade, is the true Keyblade Master, and that's really cool because every great leader needs a great support, like a great right hand man, and Riku is is intelligent and smart and wise and and strong but he he's easily depressed and defeated and and just lacks hope yeah. and all these things but Sora brings that for him yeah like so it's like the perfect leading relationship like Riku is like the leader the fighter but Sora is his like is like the soul like Sora and and I really appreciate that. Like they made this game, and it's all about this character, right? But he's not even the most important one. Yeah. Uh, I think that's really really cool. And even there's this underlying thing where there's seven chosen heroes of light and thirteen chosen heroes of darkness. And at the end, there's going to be a huge battle uh, between the seven and the thirteen. Yeah. And it's going to be like this war that'll rage. And and I think that's coming in Kingdom Hearts three. Right. Um, and. You just, you root for the good guys. Like, all the characters who are the chosen chosen ones are, are awesome. And you're just like, man, I want these guys to win. And they balance each other out so well. It's awesome. Yeah. I think Donald and, I think, yeah, I think Donald and Goofy are, 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 are light, are chosen ones of the light too. Let me think in my head and I'll say it out loud if I'm right. Uh. Yeah. Is Yen's... I mean, I know it, in the Sorcerer's Apprentice thing, in the Sorcerer's Apprentice cartoon, uh -huh. where Mickey was like uh, the apprentice, mm -hmm. Yen Sid was the... Uh, the master. This, this character, anyway, was the sorcerer. Yeah. Um, and they didn't explicitly call him Yen Sid, but in this game they do. Mm -hmm. Does he appear in anything else? Any other games? Or any other Disney? No, it's just in that animation. Because, like... They call him Yen Sid here, and in Epic Mickey, he appears, and he is... Yen he is Sid the, is the name of the character, He is the tutorial and the voiceover for, like, a lot of, like... Or at least in Epic Mickey 2 he is, and I'm pretty sure he appeared in Epic Mickey 1. Uh-huh. And I know Yen Sid is Disney backwards. Yeah, yeah, But, um... Just, and they, he's called Yen Sid in that as well. Yeah. And he has this... I, I don't know if he has the same voice, but... I mean, he's an old well, wizard, he's, so... Well, he, he doesn't talk in, the, in Sorcerer's Apprentice. No, I mean in like animation. in here and an epic Mickey. Oh, it's possible. Um, none. We don't need tutorial stuff. <sighs> um, I'm gonna skip this cutscene because it's really actually I can just explain it faster than they're going to. Um, what Heartless is created when darkness overwhelms someone's heart, and that can happen either when they're dying. And just their strength fades. Or they're so evil and the darkness is so strong within them that it just swallows them whole. And they become a heartless. When a heartless is created, the empty shell that's left behind becomes a nobody. Right. So, uh, when a person becomes a heartless, their body becomes a nobody and their soul becomes a heartless. Like, their heart becomes a heartless. Um, so yeah, that's, that's all they were explaining. There's nothing yeah. to worry about, right? 
Okay. Uh, uh, all right. We're gonna get our new duds. Yeah. Please. <laughs> in before they get in an argument of us whether they should be blue or pink. Who's here, dears? Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. It's coming. Oh god. That's great. Oh, that will never do. <laughs> Yay, just like the cartoon. Just like Sleeping Beauty. But don't you like this, Kevin? You know I can dress myself. <laughs> do I have any say in this? Look how exasperated he looks. It's like, uh, okay. He's like, I don't want to get involved <laughs> in your in your squabble. Uh. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> what? Uh, That's literally I was Ah uh, In uh -huh. Sleeping Beauty, the uh -huh. reason they find out that Sleeping Beauty exists is because um Sorry, yeah, in Sleeping Beauty, the reason they find out Aurora is like hiding in the forest is because they're having a fight over the colors and zapping and stuff and like the zapping starts going up the chimney and like the crow can see it. The crow... Can... Nice. Very nice. Oh, it looks so good. Very nice. Actually fits him. The crow that we just saw, which mm -hmm. I presume is informing Maleficent, is exactly how Maleficent... This entire scenario is exactly like the scenario well, that... Well, Maleficent appeared. is actually dead at the moment. Right, okay. <laughs> but, uh... Um, what I'm saying is this exact. But yeah, yeah, that it is relevant. Like, but like it's exactly the same. Uh, uh, yeah. form, form changes exist now. Oh, oh. Whoa. What? What? You should, you should wait till we can do it in action. It's amazing. Oh God. Wait. So can you turn blue and green as well? Uh, the colors are. Wait a minute. No, okay. Wait. Yeah, no, there's not a green one. There, it's the order you unlock them. Red, blue, and then yellow. Right, okay. And then, uh, primary colors. And then, uh, the hidden one is, is gray. Well, there's a couple. There's another hidden one, but the hidden one that you can actively unlock. Yay, more, more combo. Fowler form! Okay, uh, dang. So now we have forms. Yay. Forms are amazing and super fun and make this game much easier. Um, I kind of will, maybe I'll avoid overusing them because sometimes I just love grinding up the forms because just getting them to high level is so fun. <sighs> every form has its own like level and experience and every form levels a different way. Um, so Valor form gains experience for every hit. It's a gummy ship. Um... It's really cool. Yeah. Wisdom form gains experience for every heartless you defeat. It's oh. one point of experience yeah. for every heartless. Uh, master form is every orb you pick up, like oh, no. drops from an enemy, a yeah. specific type of orb. Every time you pick one up, it's it's experience. And final form is every time you kill a nobody. Huh. But final form has to be unlocked a special way. Right. You don't get it through the playing the story. This doesn't matter. <laughs> like, at all. Okay. So, uh, uh, why am I always out of breath? <laughs> I don't know. We're and sitting we're down sitting for like three hours straight. You're playing the game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching. This game just takes your breath away. Uh, Chip and Dale. Only one? Uh, only one? Oh, the gummy ship looks a lot cooler now. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Arya's grabbing her face. That's not true. I, it is absolutely true. <laughs> it's not. Stop. <laughs> okay, stop, stop. We're on the show. We're on the show. Don't do it on the show. <laughs> don't stop. do what? Stop. Don't do, don't, do, don't do it on the show. Don't do don't what? Do, my face is away from the mic. Can't hear what to do. Stop. There's a cutscene. Stop it. Stop. Pay attention. If it's a cutscene, then you don't need to focus. Pay attention. You need to focus. You're am, you're the I one who's focusing. distracted. My focus increases when you're I'm distracting the audience. 
bouncy chin. <laughs> boiling, boiling. Oh my gosh, yeah. So do you see like when his I neck know, stretches out the way it just kind of like, like it, it, it doesn't it doesn't flatten like yeah. it would on a person it like still is there I feel like it's just full of like pus like it's really gross <sighs> all those sound effects uh. okay so the point you, oh yeah, the point you made previously. Oh, nice town. The point you made previously about how, I think this was a person's thing. Uh, this what I think this was uh, when this person was growing up, they made up a bunch of characters and concepts, and then they decided to put it into a game when they grew or, up. Or, or by that I mean like before they had the means to make make it. Yeah. They thought of it. Yeah. So be that as a kid or be that as a as a professional who doesn't have any creative power or like you know doing grunt work and stuff like that yeah um but i think th it's much more relevant as like a kid in, in what i'm about to say anyway uh-huh but um like you know the whole when <laughs> hollow bastion okay um you know it's like, you know, well, you know, like, all the different, like, forms of people and, like, all the different characters and, like, how it ties in with Disney and stuff and how it's, like, oh, yeah, when a person, when darkness overwhelms a person's heart, they become mm -hmm. a heartless and a hollow and their body and heart separate and they become different things. And, yep. Uh, sorry, not hollow. Um, yeah. <laughs> their body and... Heartless uh, and nobody. Nobody. They be and their body and heart uh, separate. That, that sounds like the kind of thing that a kid would come up with in, like, their imagination games when they were a, yeah. a child. And, um, and it ties in really well with, like, the whole... All of the themes of, like, growing up and all the characters and stuff. I feel like um, a lot of the characters in this game might have been based on people that the uh, person knew. That who, well, the writers knew, or whatever. Yeah, well, that would have to be only the original characters. So, like, uh, Sora, Riku. Yeah, and Kairi. Kairi. Um, They're, like, the original main characters. Yeah. Then the ones before them were uh, Ventus... And these are like main. There's there's tons of character original Kingdom Hearts characters, but these are like the main ones: Sora, Riku, Kairi, and then Hainer Pencil Let, like a different different generation. Yeah. And Roxas, and then um, my brain, uh, Terra, Aqua, and Ventus are yeah. another are another group. And so, like this person thinks of these things when they're a kid, and then it kind of works as they grow as they grow up. Uh, and I think this is relevant to you and me in a way as well. Uh -huh. As they grow up and they start to learn more about like this profession and stuff, yeah, they uh, start to add more into it and like m m make the story more complex. And like the ideas that they had as a kid are developed, become, yeah, yeah, develop and become this like. And then eventually it becomes so massive, like this whole multi-universe, like transcendental thing, yeah, uh, with like Mickey and. Uh, the the Kingdom Hearts door and yeah and it's it and oh Goofy fainted no Goofy got the final shot oh nice okay. yeah I thought he was like dying no 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 <laughs> but um whenever you enter like a like a set fight like yeah something pauses and the fight begins uh the final blow is always slow mode for whoever did yeah, it yeah yeah um so like and what I said about the whole um he thinks of the uh, things as a child and then like things add on as he's growing up um that ties in with the whole fact that like there's a lot of kid uh, there's a lot of like ideas in this um in this game from like all ages like the kind of stuff <laughs> banter working on stuff over at merlin's house merlin um so yeah, like how you can see there are like, um, there are, the whole, <laughs> coming, up, okay. Speak words! Ah! <laughs> coming up with ideas as a kid, and then uh, as you grow, more ideas add on from like different stages in your life as a kid, um, and that ties in with the whole like, um, uh, anime for preteens, but like also Disney for kids, and then like, 
uh, other themes and, and like more darker themes as you grow up. Yeah. Um, uh, stuff that happens in this game. It's the same even as the games progress. Um, the later games yeah. get more serious. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like when we started on uh, get, uh, Kingdom Hearts One, on that they're just on an island and they're just three kids who are, are friends. That's like the initial. Uh, these are my childhood friends, but now we're gonna split yeah. up. Um, uh, and it's this this beautiful transcendental thing where like a person's life kind of reflects the work that they make. Yeah. And um and I, uh the way, I feel like the, I wanna uh, <laughs> getting a little bit more personal here. Um, would like the kind of idea. Oh, Aerith. Um, this is Final Fantasy people, right? Yes. Okay. They're all Final Fantasy characters, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Um, some of them are from different games than each other, but. Um. Wait, does that mean you forgot about us? Wow. So where have you guys been all this time? Just smooth over that. Where? In cold storage? Kinda, yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there was kind of a mist coming out yeah. when it, it opened. <laughs> Yeah, until you get killed. She won't get killed, right? Not in this universe. <laughs> because, like... Until Sephiroth joins the brawl. Uh, yeah, he's, he's here. Oh, really? He's a secret boss, yeah. Great, fantastic. And he's crazy hard. Like... Okay. He doesn't die in one hit. Oh, no, he's, he's got, like, ten health bars. Okay. Like, he's ridiculous. Uh, and you have to fight him one-on-one. -on -one. So that means no drive forms, no... Like, no allies, yeah. no summons, because yeah. those all require you to have allies. Right. Uh, yeah, um, it kind of reflects in our stuff, because um, with the whole growing up in your like, your childhood reflects your... Your life reflects your work. Yeah, um, uh, uh, a lot of the characters that I thought of ages ago, and uh, have developed over the years of just daydreaming and stuff, and the worlds that I've thought about... Um, I basically hope to achieve the kind of stuff that Kingdom Hearts is doing, has yeah. done, you know? Uh, at some point in my life, eventually, create this, like, totally complete to universe, and, uh, which totally ties in with, like, the things that I thought about when I was a kid. Because, uh -huh. like, I don't want to let those ideas go. I don't want to be like, okay, those were things that I thought of as a kid, but if I want to, like become a proper creator i need to think of new things when i'm an adult right that sh it that it should be like the things you thought of as a kid should be built upon as you grow yeah rather than tossed aside because they were initial because initially they sucked because you were a kid and you didn't know better yeah. you know yeah no definitely um see i had like i have a i had like a lot of ideas that i scrapped because they were dumb but, like, I have a lot of characters that, I, that it started out dumb and, like, I have changed them but kept the core tenants yeah, yeah. to, like, because I don't want to let They've it go. They've matured as you have. Yeah, exactly. Hey, thanks, Leah. And, and there's more legitimacy to those characters. Yeah. Because they've sort of yeah, they've got been through the flames yeah. a little bit. They, they have your experience. Yeah, they've been refined. Yeah. And that's one thing, like... Uh... Yeah, we're gonna get magic back. Um, this is like a. This is gonna be the final point before the episode ends, and I think yeah. maybe this might mark the end of the session. The session, yeah. yeah. But uh, so this this episode is extra long, I guess, because it's the last one. But um, yeah, there's this like in the industry now because political correctness is such a crazy thing at the moment. We're on like a. Uh, Basically, political correctness is extremely on that like important to people right now. Right. So like, you have to be accepting of everyone, and you have to blah 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 blah. Like, um, but it's it's what did I? I didn't even pay attention. Oh, I know all the things. <laughs> go away. Uh, go, oh. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, say uh, say uh, things. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Um. So like, you see a lot now because of this political correctness, in like store in in tv and in, in uh, mostly tv in tv and movies uh creators like are are f forced to implement like characters that represent a certain like yeah. 
uh, demographic. Demographic, exactly. So like, and and they're never even implemented well. Right. Yeah. And they're never even important. Yeah. And it's and it's because just for the sake of having it. Exactly. Um, to be inclusive. Mm-hmm. And it's it's weird because it's weird to me because um what why didn't it oh there it is okay um i'll finish this point whatever yeah it's like if ever someone asked me like i okay let me go to the beginning when when a creator makes their characters if it's their own story if even if someone is asking them to make a story along certain lines or like i want you to make a story about a world where dogs are people like they're still the characters are still very they're based from your experiences and your emotions so when then when someone asks you to make something that is outside your experience like there's a reason why majority if not all of my characters will be will be uh white most likely american um straight like all of the things that define my person will will be true for my characters i i like i but then you have like people who like force you like no you need to have a gay character you know Uh, like and it's not even your fault because that's the only way you can make a good character exactly by knowing it inside out because it is you and in this i'm not saying like oh there shouldn't be gay characters that's not my point my point is when when the creator clearly didn't intend for it it shouldn't be forced in exactly if they intended for the character to be that and it and it is then it's most likely going to work a lot better than than a creator who has been like coerced or forced to do it yeah and and if you want more representation of that in the industry uh, of of different demographics and get stuff. someone who is yeah, the to people, be the creator. Yeah, the people who are that demographic need to be the ones who create it. Otherwise, it's gonna. It's not only is it gonna be just bad, but yeah. it, it could potentially end up offending, offending yeah. people who are, who are actually went through. And that the stuff. funniest thing is, the people who are offended are the people who aren't involved. Yeah, like, exactly. It's like these these white people who are like, oh my gosh, you need like. Oh, it's so it's it's just stupid it, it is just stupid but uh to finish my point i'm going to a safe point so that we yeah. can end the session yeah. but uh to finish the point like if ever i'm if i ever i have creative freedom over a project and someone asks me to implement a certain type of character unless i have someone on my team or working with me who can provide me with these experiences and help me make this character i can't make it well you just can't and and all my characters represent pieces of me, even female characters, even characters who, who aren't in positions of life that I am, elements of them are. Um, or they're at least how I would imagine these, these situations to be. So, I don't know, it's, I just saved twice. It's just, yeah, it's, it's weird, it's stupid. But, like, just to finish, like, in the Arrow and Flash, there's, like, gay characters, but they're, they're not, it's not even subtle. Like, they're just like, we're gay! Yeah. Like, and, and, and literally, like, it's just really bad. Like, yeah. like even even the straight characters aren't as, like, affectionate as they make the gay characters. Yeah. Like, just to put in your face, these characters are gay. Like, it's just really dumb. But next time on Man Cave Arcade, we will be playing more Kingdom Hearts. Well, probably not. I don't know how this will come out in, in sequence, but... Next time for us, at least, it'll be Kingdom Hearts, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. See you later. Thanks, guys, for talking, for talking, for listening to us talking yeah. a lot. We've been playing oh, Kingdom Hearts. So much cutscene. For like four hours. Like, the thing is, like, there was so much cutscene, and then now. Welcome now, to Man Cave Arcade Cast. <laughs> now that <laughs> the game started, we haven't really paid much attention to the game. Yeah. <laughs> but. Uh, well, it, it'll we'll catch up as there's yeah. less less depth and more oh, game. The thing is, you just opened a whole new can of worms that I want to talk about now. And... Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're gonna forget about it. Yeah! See you later, people. Bye. <laughs>